Okay, so this is very funny that I still get asked this. This was uh, this is a someone who had, who had responded to me on on, on comments a, a while ago. Um, do you guys remember that one video? I believe Rob Bell did it. It's that dude like who's in the in the like the jeans and the leather coat, and he's like religion not or Christ. Uh, Jesus, not religion. Jesus is greater than religion. It's like a spoken word thing. Um, where he's like, religion is evil. Jesus is good. And, you know, religion is bad. And Jesus destroyed, he came to destroy religion. And God hates religion. And uh, uh, religious are just whores. And, all, like, all this crap about... Do you guys remember that? Like... <sighs> So I get a message, and this is, what, like a year later, or eight months later, or something that, that I was on here. This I, this video, I think, is like, a, I don't know, maybe well over a year old or something, maybe two years. Very, uh, yeah, it's, um... And, and uh, their their question is is, is strange. Like, um, I, it's paragraphs long. I'm not going to read every one, but there's uh, like, um, why do you need religion? Why do you? Why not just Jesus? And why can't uh, like all this kind of stuff? Um, So here's my kind of response to that, um, and I think I provoked this because I, the other day I, uh, I, I was watching this thing again, and I had, uh, I don't know if I want to comment or message them or whatever, but uh, just asked them a question. It wasn't answered, by the way, when, when this was returned, but here it is. Um, The guy, one thing the guy says in the video, and the, the, the thing I hate about that is uh, that spoken word dude that, oh, but in this, and he's like rhyming, is he's such a freaking hypocrite, and he's uh, he's full of himself, and he's very arrogant, and anybody who makes this claim is, is very arrogant and uh, ridiculous. If you were to say the law, the effects of the law, and the binding of the law, <coughs> of the the old law, is dead, um, at least for us, and that we were to walk a new life in Christ, then yeah, if you were to take out religion and put in law for a lot of those things, except when he says Jesus came to destroy religion, you wouldn't put law in there, he came to fulfill the law, um, the law and the prophets. That's why you had Moses and Elijah of on Mount uh, Tabor. But, uh, and he talks about, would you let Jesus in your church if you, you know, if, if Jesus were alive today, would he even be welcome in your church? Uh, Jesus is, is, Christ is at our uh, church every Sunday, every time we do the Eucharist. The real presence, Christ's real presence in the Eucharist. And um, religion is a, set of beliefs about the world, basically. Uh, I, I don't know the dictionary definition of it, but uh, if you actually believe the New Testament, you have a religion. Baptism now saves you. You hold to the baptism and you hold to the Eucharist. These are signs of assured salvation. We are not saved by faith. We are not saved by works. We are saved by, saved by grace. Uh, the only time faith alone is in the Bible is where it says, uh, cannot save. Um, in the book of Acts, it talks about gathering together on the first day, breaking bread, and praying and singing the Psalms. 
that's the beginning of the liturgy right there. Uh, people were like, and this is the people who want to bash the Catholic Church uh, and in, and the Lutheran churches and the Anglican churches, in effect, uh, bashing the uh, Orthodox Church, which is the evangelicals. They're the most arrogant, hypocritical, boastful people on the face of the earth. Um, they're the people who, um, who you have, I mean, in this video, they, Christ saved me from my sin, and now I don't lust after women, and this and that. Um, or leading a good life doesn't, you know, I mean, the guy goes into, you know, doing this just doesn't, you know, wearing the right shirt and tie and going to church doesn't save you, doesn't make you a Christian. Um, well, by that reasoning, uh, not, um, not fornicating doesn't make you a Christian either. It doesn't save you. Uh, somebody who is baptized believes and um, repents and takes the Eucharist and then falls into fornication and messes up and, and, and sins through fornication or even murder. They're a Christian. God still loves them. And they still have assurance of forgiveness of sin through the Holy Mysteries. And the idea that this guy's going to sit back and judge people just because they go to a building every Sunday and do what God commanded them to do. And this uh, this dude that's in his 20s is going to is gonna be all like hip-hop. Uh, this whole stage thing and, and being boastful and judging people. Um, the people who didn't want any, like, uh, I've met these people in Wheaton, these... Uh, the white man who's kind of always kind of irritated and angry and he's he's kind of a jerk and he doesn't talk that much and he's, he goes to church every Sunday and he'll argue and really yell about religion, like really yell about Jesus and very Catholicating and uh, kind of doesn't want blacks in his church or Hispanics and, you know, real, uh, like, well, you know, I don't do that. No, and that that's, that's the hypocrite. It's the evangelicals. It's, it's coming from this emergent church thing and the evangelicals, the fundamentalists, too. It's all the same thing, and you'll find this with the liberals also. Is uh, Christ came to build it I'm, upon this rock? I build my church. Uh, Christ came to build the church, and uh, he's the cornerstone. Or some translations, the capstone. Uh, Two thousand years of beautiful tradition, and these people want to rip it down. And tradition even goes back older because um, we're from the Israelites. So, you know, all, all religion's horrible. Yeah, you know, Catholic Charities, St. Jude's Hospital. Yeah, religion never did anything, right? You know, it's, it's uh, and then, oh, the war was fought in the name of religion. Really, when has America launched a war in the, in the name of religion? George Bush said that he prayed about his the decision to go to war, but it didn't say God commanded him to go to war. You know, so if you're talking about war, well, what, what nation? Or that's to, like, it's almost like a, people who don't know what sparked the Crusades or what they were. Was it just about religion? Was it really, was it just about religion? Because I'll get a huge debate about that. And uh, the Crusades horribly affected the East, and it was more Orthodox Christians slaughtered than anybody else, and they really kind of... Uh, the Sea of Antioch didn't really, uh, was on the losing end of it from both the Muslims and the Crusaders. So, uh, that one's a fail. Uh, baptism, is that a ritual? Eucharist? Where, where is the receptionist view of the Eucharist or, or the, the bap baptism as an outward sign of an inward change? Where is that in the Bible? Where is, um, what is that thing? Laying things on your heart or um, sinner's prayer or uh, conversion experience. ridiculous
probably one of the most disgusting videos in the world. Um, I don't know. I, I, if I had the, uh, the editing skills or special effects, I'd go through and just shut it, shut down every single thing that guy said. There's a, let's take a, an Irish Catholic or Mexican Catholic or Italian Catholic. They go to uh, church their whole life. They're baptized. They take the Eucharist. They strive to live a good life. They get married. They have kids. They raise their kids properly. What What do you have to say against them to criticize them? But there's all this criticism against them. Oh, they believe empty rituals can save them. Uh, baptism and the Eucharist aren't empty rituals. That's where you meet Christ. Maybe if they understood that, they'd understand the Apocalypse of St. John. And there would be all these crazy uh, things. So it just, it's exhausting and saddening that people act like that. Take it easy.